Hey everyone, so I've been watching videos about the Progressive 412 shocks and they look all good. So I bought them and I put on my Harley right here, my Iron 8830. And the thing is I've been riding with them for a few days and I'm kind of unsure about them. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go to this parking lot here and I'm going to do some video test on it. I'll show you how it looks like while I'm riding over bumps, um, going over curves and I'll film it and I'll show you my perspective too. I'll show you both perspectives so you can see how it looks like. But yeah, I'm just kind of unsure about them right now. And if you stay till the end, I'll show you how I installed them. I'll give you any tips on how I did it. But yeah, stay tuned. All right, so I think I'll set it up right here. Okay, so the first setting I have it on right now is the fifth notch. There's only five notches on this, and that determines the strength. So we're on the fifth, and let's see how it is. Okay, that didn't seem too bad. And also, the shocks that I bought are the standard 11 and a half inch ones. I didn't buy the heavy duty because for heavy duty, you have to weigh over 200 pounds. That's what they suggested. And standard is if you're under 200 pounds. I'm 170 and I'm 5'8". Let's do it again. Fifth notch. Okay. I have my tool right here and I'm gonna put it down to the fourth notch now. These are the notches down here. It's on the fifth. So I'm just gonna crank it down to the fourth. Just one down. There we go. Do it on this side. And let's test it out on the fourth notch. All right, here we go. This is the fourth notch. The fourth payload. See how it feels. All right, it seems like I'm feeling it a little bit more now since I went down one. Let's give it another test. Here we go, fourth notch, fourth payload. Yeah, see I went over that one a little bit heavier this time and I felt it a little bit more. So I wanna say the fifth notch so far is the best one. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go all the way down to the very first notch. So that means it's more loose. All right, the very first notch. There we go. All right, so like I still have a good feeling of the fourth and fifth payload of how I felt. So this I should really get a good sense of how it feels because it's on the very first notch. Here we go. First notch payload. Oh yeah, you're, you're feeling it more. If you're loosening them up to the very first. Let me do it one more time. I want to say if you set it to the very first notch, you're kind of like on riding on stock still. Because I, I think I felt it a lot. I felt the bump on my ass. There we go. I'm going to give you a little bit more speed here. Oh, yeah, I felt that. I want to say if you are close to 200 pounds, maybe even like 180 to 190, maybe go for the heavy duty. Because then you can just set the notch to like the very first notch and you should be fine because you do want it to like support more. So I'm going to ride on the fifth, on the fifth payload. All right, so I'll show you how I installed my progressive 412 shocks right now. And I had to buy this Torx set right here because it uses a T50 right here. A T50, and that's all you need. A T50 for that right there to loosen it up. It is pretty tight. And then you do need a uh, wrench back here for the bolt 
for that to hold it and then you take it off with this this one you don't need a wrench up here Just unscrew it so that and then you got to torque it back down to I think it's 45 to 50 foot pounds so that's what I did I have this old one my neighbor gave me this one it's pretty cool I, ha I had another torque wrench and it didn't work good and it messed up my bolts you know so make sure you buy a good one but this one worked pretty good it's just an old style you pull it until the needle goes to the number that you want then it's there and the videos I watched you know I saw this guy do it on his own and um, I'm not that strong but I did need a second person to help me hold this down with a wrench while I torqued it and you know you can maybe do it on your own but I did need a second hand to torque it down because it got kind of flimsy with this like that so when I was doing it on my own you know you, you don't want to strip these bolts and I bought this lift right here this is what I used to lift up the bike it's called drag specialties it's one of those scissor lifts 1,000 pound maximum load and it worked perfect for the type of maintenance I'm gonna do on this you know lift it up to like even clean the brakes and spin the wheel but what I did was I just put this under like this right under there and then cranked it up and I cranked it up where the tire was was just like half an inch off the ground you don't even need that high up just as long as it just went up a little bit took it out and you do need the lift because when I put on the new shocks here it's, even though it's a 11 and a half I did have to make minor adjustments just to level it so that I can put the bolt back in so if you did it another way I can see it's kind of hard you might need someone like help you crank this up and just to get the bolt back in but this thing is so good I can like just little by little adjust it and then I got the bolt in perfectly and yeah it wasn't too hard at all but that thing was kind of expensive I think there's other models you can find on Amazon but I was worried about the other models breaking while this bike is lifted up because this bike is kind of heavy and I read a lot of good reviews on this one so I bought it this thing was like $200 but you know I am going to use it a lot like I said to use it to clean up my bike it lifts it off the ground pretty well I heard even with this lift you can leave the bike on it for like a week and it'll still be on it without breaking so so yeah overall it's very easy to install this but like I said I do think you need a second person to help you torque it down because I was very worried about that you got to get the torque down right I mean if you don't want to go by the torque specs I've done that on old bikes before I just really tighten them like tighten them enough you know and then I think you should be fine but I want it to be exact on this come on buddy out of here so yeah I hope this video helped you guys out I kind of wish someone did this type of video when I was searching for up the 412 videos and the one I saw was like the guy was running 412 um, heavy duty and he he didn't look like he was over 200 pounds and he had the 12 inch ones on I have the 11 and a half man I really need some new pipes on this but I, I'm loving my bars right now I'm gonna go get some bulb right now. Alright guys, that's gonna be it. I will see you in the next video. See you later. Crap, I need to go over here. Where am I going? video soon because I am ordering my pipes 
Can't wait to get those things. I'm so quiet out in these streets and I feel like the cars can't hear me. And it's so dangerous that way. So, you know, I, I gotta drive a little bit more aggressive here so they can see me. I always feel like that's the best way. If you ride aggressive, look at this Porsche here. You ride aggressive, then you should be fine. Let them know you're there. Show them who's boss. And I'm gonna get some boba right now. See you guys later.